Good morning, traders. Welcome to the new Tuesday Outlook and Setups. I'm very excited about this morning's session. I'm going to run through a few things on GU, give you some insights on what happened uh, yesterday. And also we'll be looking firstly actually at the up and coming my community in course. I'm really super excited about it and I've really been kind of working really hard at it and putting a lot of effort into it and time and it's kind of been coming um, unknowingly, been coming a few years um, in the making and I'm really excited to finally share something with you that's something of my own and that I can yeah, really invest in and help traders and get like-minded people together and so on. So let's quickly, I'm just quickly going to jump into uh, the website. This is the website, dwfxtrading.com. Uh, once you get to the homepage, this is what you'll see. We'll probably add some things more to it as we progress or maybe, yeah, we will evolve <laughs> as we go along. So um, that's obvious. So what to expect, daily analysis, community, content, and much more. So you can go have a read through all of this. I'm going to do that now. I still want to put like a bio about me in here before we get to the contact me, but that we'll get to later. Uh, first need to find a good picture and write something nice. Uh, so I want to still do that. And then when you scroll all the way up over here, your homepage is where we are now. And then course content takes you to the content basically um we it shows you if you're enrolled you'll see the access you're enrolled um basically we have an introduction welcome discord community setting up trading view all the basic stuff and then the toolbox i'll probably add one or two more lessons in here but this is so far what we have session timing buy and sell zones imbalances keys on identification premium discount highs and lows there's some source in here so obviously the uh, the title does not give everything away. Liquidity liquidity and market structures. This is where I would say I pride myself in what makes us different. Um, yes, it's different to any smart money concept trading that you've ever seen. I can promise you that. Introduction one and two. Usually I would start off with a slideshow type of thing. And then examples, and then go into the topics. Ex internal, external range liquidity, liquidity profiles, liquidity ranges objectives and so on then we have uh, order flow introduction to market structure order flow then we have two in-depth explanations and then we have some more examples multiple examples to really um, get the idea across once you've gone through all of the top uh, uh, top structures and um, lessons you get to the putting it all together and which forms your process how do you, what do you do on the daily what do you do on the 1h and what do you do on the 15 minute time frame so daily usually is where i get my bias one hour where i get my intraday levels um more one hour and 15 minute but for the sake of um structure i just structured it like this then you have your 15 minute which i just called the new day markup because that's where i probably spend the most of my time marking up and um, getting a bigger getting the idea of what i want to do for the day after i have my full analysis on daily and intraday and if i applied the concepts above to those time frames then entries and management a very nice slide the presentation that i've did here and entries types and rules uh textbook examples and then managing the trades um risk management it all falls under this section where we talk about risk management managing the trade and um yeah, risk to reward and all those type of things extras is a, a area where we're looking at journaling your trades building a checklist and building the trading plan so i build with you a checklist that you can print out can have next to you and you can follow that checklist we build the trading plan together i show you we start from scratch building the trading plan and obviously it becomes then a template that you can use um however you would like to um, i'm showing you how i do it on notion so you can do it yourself as well because ultimately a trading plan and a checklist is very personal it needs to fit your personality and your style so I'll take you through the steps, but ultimately you then need to um, do the work yourself as well. Journaling your trades. So I have a few uh, tools that I use primarily on Notion, but where we journal the trades, where we um, we kind of have like a, for a study journal and um, yeah, a few tools. It's going to be all in there. Quite, quite nice. And I give the templates of to that as well. 
and then yes mini lessons uh, and various topics so this is where i will constantly add like five to seven minute topics so a mini lesson on market structure order flow with the london open so this is very valuable i think this is where the most value will come from after you've gone all through all of the above and you get to this section and you start going and as i upload and as it presents itself we do these mini lessons and often these mini lessons will be discussed in the um, mentoring calls which we'll have once a week as well which is going to be very good anyway that is the price in south african rand so the website and the platform that i've used because i'm from south africa i kind of have to use in, in rand czar so that's what you'll see you just convert that so the price is czar and you'll see that now uh, you just convert it to to your um currency whatever that might might be um so this is fixed uh, depending on the currency ex exchange rate your what you pay might differ but this price is fixed uh when you once you get to view course this is just the breakdown nice little cover image the trading course a little bit more on what's ex what can be expected and then the launch date the 25th of june which is in two weeks time two weeks saturday so that is the plan that is now the price that i'm going to launch it with and potentially we will next year only next year 2023 go over to that price but for the remaining of this year it will be this price once you've joined you'll receive an email with the link to the course content basically your dashboard where you log in and you can watch it from your phone from your tablet from wherever you want to watch it just a disclaimer here as well i still need to add the refund policy but disclaimer just saying that this is my um i'm not a certified licensed financial planner of advisor and everything is just my um, for educational purposes my opinions and you need to still apply your own mind to it i'm not liable for any trades that you take obviously because i'm not the one pushing the trigger yep so that is what we have so far in a nutshell i hope that is exciting i'm very excited excited about it I'm very excited to work with new people and um yeah build something nice okay so let's get into gu this is where we're at this is what we're doing now uh, let's jump into it so i'm just quickly on the weekly here i'm just seeing the reason why i'm at the weekly is because we've swept a relatively uh clean low traded below it yesterday um and i'm going to kind of show you my thought process as to why we were trading into the weekly so into that low so first of all just on this time frame we reacted off of the we reacted off of this imbalance reacted off of it it was in a premium just tapped the 50 percent of the premium market so it's valid and then the next drawn liquidity would have then been these lows and we had some imbalance on the daily in uh where it was about in here as well we'll look at that as well now so we had a reason for to see price draw up into the draw down into this low and price really did that beautifully now the thing is what do we do now well obviously we don't do anything now well we can look for potential retracement trades back up maybe fill this imbalance on the weekly um but ultimately price is still bearish and we will remain bearish until, uh, while we stay below this low as long as we stay below this low we will be bearish so we could take retracement trades on the weekly um and the daily could be turning bullish but ultimately as long as we stay below this low we are bearish so keep that in mind if we just have a look it's like i don't look i'm not concerned about what's happening over here because it's two years ago and obviously it can uh, play a part but i'm more concerned on the current drawn liquidity i think if you're position trading or like more holding positions for weeks and months then perhaps um but for my the way i trade in my system it does not i'm not interested in what happens and yeah obviously you can look and you can see maybe that is a, a demand area or an order block or whatever buy area and then you can uh, base trades off of that but obviously we can well if we just look at where price is reacting off of we can come to the same conclusion the price can potentially make a retracement um so that's the one conclusion that we can make because it has traded below a previous low and we expect a reaction <laughs> louis <laughs> we're expecting a reaction off of that previous low now the other thing is also true is that you can't just think that uh, because it's sweeping low it's going to reverse towards the upside um 
you have to kind of uh, blend a few things together. One of the topics that I don't know if I've showed it in there, but one of the topics that we'll be looking at in the in the course is how to differentiate between sweeps and structure breaks. How do you know when is it a sweep of liquidity and how do you know when it's actually a structure break? So I have a, I have a system in place for that and it's very it's very simple but effective and it really helps helps to identify when is it a sweep and when is it a, a structure break. And in this case I don't yet have all the evidence to know if this is a sweep or a structure break, but I know that we can expect that reaction off of this area. And ultimately, price hasn't yet closed below this area. So clearly, it's not yet a structure break below. Let's have a quick look at the daily. I'm going to show you what my view was here. If we just refine that weekly imbalance towards this area, you can see price tapped into it. And then we started pushing towards the downside. And my initial target idea was for price to reach this imbalance. After this imbalance, the idea was to go for the previous low. And we've seen that now happen. We've seen this bearishness pushing price down towards the downside into this low and reacting off of it. Now, the reason I'm telling you don't try to catch reversals is because I've, ma I've made mistakes in the past. Uh, where was it? I think it was, yeah, with, all, with this big drop, with this drop thinking, okay, it's going to, we're going to catch a reversal and then just continuation. Okay. Now we're going to catch a reversal and then just drops further. Now we're going to catch a reversal and then it pulls it up, get excited, and then it drops even further. So never assume a reversal. We trade the continuation until proven wrong. But in this case, I don't want to trade a sell right here because we're so low and we are below a previous low. So the option, you have three options. I think, let's see, <laughs> I'm going to count them as I hadn't mentioned you. The one option is you, 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 you try to, Take a, take a pullback and you really, you don't aim for the moon. You just get a few pips, 20 to 30 pips or 50 pips. The range is relatively big now, so you could maybe get 50 pips. Oh, yeah, 30 pips. Easily get 30 pips. That's currently, that's 300 pips. Did I view this right? Yes, that is 300 pips. You could easily catch a few hundred pips. Uh, you have big candles <laughs> so you could easily catch a few hundred pips and um still be in a sell zone sell market so we can potentially look for a buy if it's provided and take it as a retracement trade or we can not wait not take a buy just wait to see it come back up potentially into something i don't know yet where give reaction and continue the sell uh, direction or we can wait for that and price could just roll over and drop further towards the downside. So that's very highly possible as well because we've seen that happening uh, multiple times before where price just makes a short week towards the upside and drops. Short week towards the upside and drops. So we have to keep that in mind that price can potentially just further drop towards the downside. We are, we're in quite a tricky situation um, in terms of fundamentals with everything going on. Um, inflation and interest rate hikes and the war and there's just a lot of things going on which is scary i mean the other day we went grocery shopping and we paid almost double what we usually pay for the same amount of things and it's just crazy where things are going if you just look at fuel prices it's really ridiculous but anyway let's not complain so there's the scenarios on the daily so now you can already see the daily is not as um good for a trading setup as well so if we just look at the one hour as well the one hour is not in a good place space as well so we're seeing this potentially sweep of liquidity but again we're not breaking above the significant structure to validate that this was potentially a break and we can still see the order flow and structure is still bullish we can see we're staying below the last up closing candles we are trading lower we're breaking structure everything is still pointing towards sales so i would think potentially this area could be a area of supply this one good we need no validation so we could potentially expect price to trade back up into this area but that is really it's just a shooting in the dark because we are just so bearish there's nothing really giving us any indication that we can take longs. Now, if we were to take shorts, potentially we could frame some shorts from this area because this could have been now a sweep of previous highs. And we would want to then see potentially price break down to continue the order flow 
towards the noun sign. So what I would do is potentially mark this as a check. And if we get some convincing structure breaks towards the noun side, structure break below, see price trade below this, we could potentially frame a trade and then target liquidity towards the downside, which would be our south side liquidity. But currently, there's no really any good liquidity ranges. Um, prices, it's just not a conducive area to trade in, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but that's just for me. Let's see the five minutes and I see, but even the five minute, we're not getting anything, no imbalances in these areas. Maybe this. But you wouldn't want to just take a trade off of here. You might first want to see the reaction and then try to get an entry. So all in all, I think we just need a lot more evidence before taking a trade. We need a lot more going happening before we can actually jump into a trade and call it a good high probability trade. So I'll definitely be waiting for uh, for London Open. And if London Open does not provide or give anything, then I'll be waiting for New York Open. Potentially catch something in New York Open. So if London, just a little tip, and this is what we'll be discussing more in the community as well, but if London is really just consolidated and not doing much, then that's a big chance that New York can give us a potential trade, a sweep of the lows, and then a continuation higher if that is the intent to go higher. Kind of I kind of kind of feels like it kind of wants to make a a move higher. Because we we kind of want to anticipate where it could be the low of the week. And if it is on a Monday, uh, because price really, really made a push down, um, we could potentially expect Monday to be half in the low and then trade. But it's also, it could be that Tuesday just sweeps this. I've seen this as well, where price just sweeps low on Tuesday and then start the rally towards the upside. So it kind of gives the impression and idea that, okay, we've made the low, everyone's going to take long. And then that one last manipulation move, taking out the buyers and then boom, you see the push towards the upside. So ultimately, I'm sorry, guys, there's no real setup right now that I can point out to you. There's only some some this and that. and But I do hope that you can get some info and insights on what I'm looking at and the thought process behind it. Uh, let me know down, let me know in the comments if you agree with this, uh, if you're seeing something else, if what's your view. Um, yes, let me know, guys. Um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to wrap it up almost if we've been taking some time now. Um, but just honestly, I'm not seeing anything that I would want to put money on. If we maybe look at GJ quickly, just quickly from a one hour view, sorry, daily view as well. What's the daily doing? So the daily, it looks like the daily really reacted uh, from this high, reacted off of this high. We're seeing it starting to push down. So the daily does look bearish as well. Um, yes. <laughs> it, it, well, actually, the daily is kind of in a still a bullish trend. We've just traded above this high. I'm a bit rusty on other pairs, to be honest. Perhaps this could be a swing point. We've reached down into a discounted area. Let's have a quick look here. Really trading lower, made this corrective pullback, starting to dump lower. So balance should be in the 50% area. Yes, it's about 50%. Uh, so potentially we could perhaps see a sweep on these highs and then push lower. So GJ is also kind of still pointing towards sales, actually. Um, so let's see what that means for GU as well for further sell side continuation down lower. Guys, I'm going to stop it right here. I hope you had an insightful and good morning with me. And um, yeah, then if you decide to join, I will see you on the 25th of June inside the community. All right, guys, hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next one. Bye.